Alrighty, time for another edition of Science Sunday here at the Connecticut Science Center in our capital city, joined by Nate. Good morning. Good morning, Mark. How are you? Doing well. Uh, so I have a little explanation of something that maybe you've done before. Um, so if you've ever been out getting a drink uh, with a straw and then you take your finger and put it over top of it, you can actually hold all that water in there until you drop it out by releasing your finger. Okay. So what's happening here is as you put it in, the water fills up into the straw, you put your finger on top of it, you trap the air in there, and then when you pick it up, we have all this air around us, the atmosphere pushing up against it, and um, the air in here is just, um, a, it's either the same or a little bit less pressure. So they're kind of equal forces pushing against each other. And then there's a little bit of surface tension that's holding that water. Water's a little sticky. You can let it out by dropping it, or by actually running your finger across it, breaking that surface tension. While keeping your finger up while, top. Yeah, while yeah. keeping your finger up at the top. All right. So this is all about pressure, air pressure, really. Um, and I have some toys from my son. Hi, Dylan. Um, these are called water thieves. Da Vinci even used these. Okay. Um, so they are bath toys. You take them, you put them in water, fill them up, and the same idea happens. Don't go. Um, put your finger over the top, and when you release your finger, they rain down. Pretty cool, pretty cute. Awesome. So I just wanted to um, maybe explore what it's like to change the pressure. So I've got my favorite um, science tool here, my vacuum chamber. And I'm going to fill up this cloud again. I think cloud's appropriate. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to put a little piece of clay over top of it just to keep it plugged closed so I can take my hand out of the vacuum chamber. And as I Add it here. Now we have all the air around us pushing against that water and the air inside of the cloud. So surface tension and is keeping it in right now. Mm -hmm. And if I reduce the pressure around the air pressure by turning on my vacuum pump, we should see. Make it rain. It start to rain down. And then as soon as I stop the vacuum pump and equalize it, it stops coming out. OK. Yeah. Good stuff. So, um, this is something that you can try at home with the straw or um, even in the bath. Good stuff, yeah. yeah. So, science everywhere. Um, before we go, we want to let folks know about a really cool thing happening at the Science Center next weekend. Yes, yes. So, we have um, our Frozen Wonders weekend where okay. we are having some of our favorite characters, Anna and Elsa, come by. You can come meet Fun. them. We also have our sock skating rink, and it's the last weekend of that. So, if you haven't been in, down to the Forest of Illusions exhibit, and tried out the sock skating rink. Uh, you should really get down there to, before it uh, disappears for the year, as well as that exhibit. Yeah, so uh, Force of Illusions last weekend for that too. So yes. um, it's all included with general admission or your membership. CTScienceCenter.org, you can go to learn more about it all. Yeah. Right, Nate, thank you so much. And of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.